here in Central Oregon, it's not unusual for um, a week in February to be above average temps, anywhere from 60 to 70 degrees. And um, we're right now, my watch says it's 63 degrees here. Um, so I'm taking in a nice little uh, hike down to a, a great spot to have a picnic. It's very scenic and I want to take you with me. Um, just a reminder, I need subscribers. So if you kind enough to uh, uh, subscribe, if you like this, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up too. That, that helps other people discover the channel. So come along, let's go. And as you can see here, everything you need to know about the hike is here. Um, it's open all year. Um, it's part of a native plant restoration going on, and especially during the summer, but uh, sometimes all year. Uh, you want to be careful of the rattlesnakes, so you want to stay on the trail. And there's, there's so many people that use this. Uh, my sense is there aren't a heck of a lot of rattlesnakes, especially during the... Uh, the, the middle of the day, maybe early in the morning or late at night, but that's about it. You can go down the steeper part, or you can go over here to the less steep part. I'm going to do that. That happens when you're 72 and you, you're not sure of your balance anymore. There's a viewpoint over here. We'll go take a view. It's mostly a little uphill on your way to the falls and then it's almost all downhill which means of course coming back it's going to be mostly uphill but it's just not that long of a walk I'm gonna let these people go by yeah. having a little bit of an issue uh, going downhill really bothers my knee I have to go a lot slower that way than I normally would I think it's just because I'm out of shape and overweight but 
it's still easier than most trails so don't let my knees stop you from taking this hike it's great and there's the top of the falls it's a nice little pretty spot and there are a lot of places down along the river where you can see the front of it really nice So this is a nice little place to sit and have your picnic, this promontory here. Um, or you eat your snack or whatever. I'm going to have some snacks, a little bit of water, and rest my knee for the half mile hike back. So that was uh, Steelhead Falls. It's uh, a little bit more difficult for me to do it at 72 than the last time I did it. I think I was about 65. And I didn't have two years of being sedentary because sedentary because of a because of a pandemic. But if you're in reasonable shape, um, a lot of parents with kids came after school got out. A lot of dogs and as I mentioned earlier older folks during the earlier part of the day so you can do it it's only a half a mile it is up and down despite what you may read on the website the website link is going to be down below I'll put that on there it gives you directions and all kinds of information but it's worth it if you're a hiker and you want a picnic in a place that's uh, really photogenic and peaceful and nice so uh, I'm still trying to get a hundred subscribers as I tape this video this I don't know if I've got them or not so uh, help me by hitting thumbs up that will mean more people can find it and uh, subscribe if you're in the mood and if you've made it this far give yourself a pat on the back thanks very much and we'll see you next week